In this video, I'm going to show you how to secure a MetaMask browser wallet using a Trezor hardware wallet. Because when this is done correctly, nobody can access your crypto without this exact Trezor. So it's very important you do this correctly. And I see people doing this wrong online all the time and their crypto is still open to attack. When done correctly, your MetaMask should just be a gateway into your Trezor wallet. You should not be using the MetaMask wallet at all, um, which is what a lot of people do. So keep watching to make sure your crypto is actually secure. The first thing we need to do is add the MetaMask extension to whichever browser you're using. In this demonstration, I'll be using the Chrome browser and I'll be adding the MetaMask extension to my Chrome browser. As a separate level of security, you should always use a separate Chrome profile for your MetaMask. And as an even higher level of security, you can have a completely separate laptop for all your crypto investments. But for this demonstration purpose only, I'll show you how to create a new guest Chrome profile and then how to install the MetaMask extension to this browser. So we're gonna open a new Chrome window. We're then going to create a new profile. So we're gonna add a profile here and we're gonna continue without an account. If you sign into account, your MetaMask will be getting tracked. So that is not what we want. We're gonna continue without an account. Pick a random color. And here is a new Chrome profile that will not be getting tracked. And we're not gonna open any other websites or tabs in this Chrome profile. This is just for our MetaMask. If you click the link below this video, I'll add the correct MetaMask extension. Ensure there's lots of reviews. There's over 10 million users, and this is the correct email address here, metamask.io. You can be happy that this is the correct extension. Add to Chrome. Add extension. So there we go. Uh, do not sync it. We don't want this to transfer over to different computers, etc. Get started. I see people doing this, installing their Trezor wallet. If you do this, you have to enter your secret recovery phrase. As soon as you do this, you've opened up the seed phrase to the internet. You don't know if there's a key login software on your laptop. You don't know who has access to your laptop, who has seen this. Um, so basically, as soon as you type a seed recovery phrase, it's for emergency purposes only. It's to access your crypto in the event of an emergency. You've been locked out of your account. You can't access it another way. And as soon as you enter the secret recovery phrase, that is it. That account should be... Uh, should be null and void. You shouldn't use that anymore. You should transfer all your crypto to a new wallet, set up a new wallet in your Trezor, transfer all this out because that has been compromised. You don't know who's who can access that secret recovery phrase. And this is what a lot of people do. They do it this way. Or I also see them create a new wallet in MetaMask and then transfer that into a Trezor. Again, type in the secret recovery phrase. Both of these methods are wrong. The only way to do this securely is to create a new wallet within MetaMask and then we're going to bring our Trezor into there. So create a wallet. Uh, no thanks. New password. Read all this. This is all very important information. Next. Click here to reveal your secret words. We're only creating this wallet as a dummy wallet. We're not going to be keeping any money in here. So what you do with this seed phrase isn't actually that important but it's, it's good practice to get into to always keep your seed phrase secure. And the following is just some tips you should always stick to when making a, a new wallet. Now, do not copy this and save it anywhere. Do not copy this to your clipboard. Don't copy it to your notes. Don't take a picture of this. Don't add it into the iCloud, onto Google. Do not save this anywhere online. Don't add it to a Word document and keep it on your computer. This does not go digital anywhere. Okay, just write this down. That's all you need to do at this stage. Just write this, just write this down exactly as it appears there. Make sure you've written it down correctly and in the right order. 
And you'll note now that MetaMask does not ask you to type this in, okay? Because again, MetaMask knows that someone could have access to this laptop. You could have some key login software on your laptop. Uh, you know, you could have a virus, anything. So MetaMask now will not make you type it in. You now need to click buttons. So this shows you, you should never type this in on a keyboard. As soon as you've even typed it into a keyboard on your laptop, you could have been hacked. And this seed phrase now should be, should be scrapped and a new wallet created. So now it's just confirming that we've written this down correctly. Okay, that's it, congratulations. So now we have an unsecure MetaMask wallet. Okay, this is just a browser extension. You should never transfer any money into this. You should never use this for any crypto. This is basically the easiest hackable wallet you could ever create. Okay, so we do not want to use this at all. So you can even account details. Okay, so this is purely your MetaMask browser wallet. I'm not gonna talk through how to set up a new wallet in Trezor. Basically, when you buy a Trezor, follow the Trezor instructions on how to set up a new Trezor wallet. I will carry this demonstration on as if you've already set up a Trezor wallet. And we're gonna to go to the top right corner here, connect hardware wallet. We're gonna select Trezor. You can also add a ledger, but I've heard a lot of people having problems with ledgers. I've always used a Trezor and I've never had a problem. Now, when you plug your Trezor into your laptop, make sure you don't use a USB device or a USB dock or anything like that. Obviously don't use a Trezor on a public laptop or on public Wi-Fi or anything like that, okay? This is only onto your own personal laptop and plug it directly into the laptop. I've plugged in my Trezor now. You need to allow it to read your public keys. Export. You're then gonna type in your passcode, which is displayed on your Trezor. So this does not correlate to one, two, three, four, etc. This is this scrambles every time you log in. Confirm. It will now ask you which Trezor account you want to link to this. So I'll just select number two here. Unlock. And now no, I've not typed in my seed phrase anywhere. This is my Trezor account. That is literally, it's been created in, within Trezor. The seed phrase has not been opened up to the internet. This Trezor account is literally on my Trezor. I've just plugged it into my laptop. MetaMask has read the Trezor from my Trezor hardware wallet. MetaMask is just displaying this Trezor wallet. No one can access this wallet without my Trezor. No one can transfer my crypto anywhere without my Trezor. The MetaMask is purely just a gateway to access this Trezor wallet. And that is it. No one can hack this Trezor wallet without having access to my Trezor. And that is on the only way to link MetaMask and Trezor wallet. Hopefully that was clear, guys. That is the only way to secure a MetaMask wallet using a Trezor. Any other way is not secure. If you've typed in your seed phrase at any point when connecting the two, that wallet has been compromised and you need to burn the wallet. You need to create a new wallet within Trezor, link the two as I've just shown you, Transfer the crypto out of your old wallet into a new wallet and burn the old address. Please secure your crypto, guys. Once it's gone, it's gone. There's no bank to ring up. Met the MetaMask team can't help you, okay? It's, it's just gone. The exchange hasn't been hacked. You yourself has been hacked. It's the same as you giving your credit card to someone and your PIN. If you give your seed phrase, you're just, you're just basically giving them that crypto. Uh, below this video, I'll put the link to the correct MetaMask extension. I'll also put a link to my affiliate link for Trezor. Uh, please, if you, if you haven't got a Trezor, buy one. It's the only way to secure a MetaMask and it's the only way to secure your, your crypto. Good luck guys, and I'll see you on the next video.